I haven't said this in a long time, but don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you liked it, and comment down below. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Angie, if you're new here. If you're not, then welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to recreate my high school makeup, my everyday makeup in high school. I'm gonna, I went to Target, well, I didn't go to Target. I did curbside pickup, you know me. And I bought all the products, which is like three products <laughs> that I would use in high school. Pretty much all I would do is put on like lotion, any lotion, like um, either something like this or bones, you know. That's the only skincare I would use. Then, um, Somewhere like in sophomore or junior year, I think it was sophomore year, I got into primers. And of course, like I couldn't afford something fancy and I didn't want to spend my money on something expensive if I didn't know how to use it. So I went to the safest place possible, which is Target and the Elf aisle. And I got this and I got this poreless face primer back in the days like i'm talking high school right like this is what five yeah five years ago this elf primer was like five or six dollars like it was super cheap and then i would do i would do like a pump and then i just put it all over my face i don't even remember if it worked or not for foundation, I used to alternate between the Mary Kay foundation and the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I'm gonna use this one because I used it more often than this. Anyway, so this is not exactly the same sponge that I use that I used to use, but it's pretty close. And I would use them dry. So it would soak up all of my foundation and then I would waste so much foundation. But let me stop rambling. Let me show you how I would apply this. I don't even remember exactly, but I guess I would just put it on the back of my hand like this much, a lot, because my sponge would absorb all of it, right? And then I would just grab some and I would do this. All right. I didn't tap. I would just drag. This has no coverage. This is what I would use. Oh my god. <laughs> so pretty much this is what I would do. I would never do two layers. Like, that's too much. And I already used a lot of foundation. And I'll pretty much make sure that it's blended. And I would just, you know, make sure that it's blended on my neck. I wouldn't use concealer. So, because I couldn't afford concealer. Either foundation or concealer. One or the other. Couldn't do both. So, pretty much... No, that's pretty much what I would do. You know, make sure that like my eyes got some of that color and make sure it's blended. I probably didn't even blend that good. Like maybe right now I'm like a little bit more cautious because you know, I use more makeup. But after this, I would use powder, which has always been my Fit Me powder. This is my holy grail this is i've always used this powder so i would use this with a fluffy brush and i would just go like this and it was usually pretty fast because like it's the morning and i'm gotta go to school and i'm not a morning person so i probably overslept so after all of that i would use blush and i can't find the blush i bought it i put it away all together with the stuff that i knew i was gonna use but right now i can't find it and i looked everywhere every place i can think of i looked and it's not it's nowhere to be found it's the wet and wild mild wine what is it called oh, i can't even i don't even know what it's called something wine i loved it so much i would that's the only blush i would use that's the only blush i would like and it was cheap it was cheap it was affordable it was pigmented it was 
you know a nice formula like soft but you can still see it that was my ride or die blush and I bet I can't find it and I it, it took me a while to find it because they repackaged it when I used to buy it it was like in a rectangle packaging and now it's a circular uh, packaging like something like this so I'm gonna use the flowery beauty um, blush from it's called warm hibiscus and this is also one of my favorites and it's kind of similar it's just more shimmery and then and I used to go ham with the blush too but I wouldn't I wouldn't go like this I would go like this <laughs> mm hmm and then some on my nose obviously and some on my chin always this is what I would look like oh my goodness and then <laughs> For mascara, I was, um, I've always used, like, this kind of mascara, like, the thing you get at the Swamp Me. So I would curl my lashes. I still do. I curl my lashes with a spoon. And then I would go ham on the mascara. Like, I would layer up. The, I kind of still do, but not as much because I wear falsies. So I'm going to apply mascara and... <laughs> I'll show you what it would look like. Sometimes if my mascara was dried up, I would warm up. I, and I still do this sometimes. I warm up hot, like some water in the microwave and then I would just stick my tube of mascara in there for a little bit. And let it melt. <laughs> so it would be a little bit more wet. Now, my mascara is usually what would take me the longest because I would pile and pile the mascara. And I, you see that dark, like smudging on the top? I wouldn't clean it. Nope. <laughs> now, when I say that I used to go crazy on the mascara, I don't mean my mascara was clumpy. Oh, don't get it twisted. No, 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 no. My mascara was always nice and, um, you know, I don't want to explain, but it wasn't clumpy. No, no, no. I wasn't one of those girls. Are you kidding me? My lashes were dark, but they were not clumpy. And my lashes used to be way longer than this. Well, not that long, but they were much longer than this. But I used to do eyelash extensions for a while and... And this is what I'm left with. And this is not bad compared to how they used to be. So I'm not complaining. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. How I did my eyebrows. <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> no! Okay. Mascara. Yeah, baby. I've always been not insecure. Well, like, I don't like my eyebrows, but they're not, like, my favorite thing. And I, like, don't know what to do with them. I just never knew, so all I would do is just run some mascara over them and make them darker so you could see them. So that's what I would do. This, uh, that's what I would do. And I'm going to tell you a story really quick. One time I went to Macy's. I was still in high school. I went to Macy's and the Anastasia pomade was really, really popular back then. So I wanted to buy it. And I was talking to someone, um, this guy, uh, a makeup artist from MAC. And I told him like, hey, you know, I know that like Anastasia is not sold at the MAC uh, counter, but it, it was nearby. So he was uh, nice enough to like walk me over and like talk to me about the Anastasia pomade. And he was trying to sell it to me, right? Which he didn't need to because I was already going to get it. But I remember he asked me, what do you use for your eyebrows right now? And I said, mascara. And he goes, why? And I was like, well, it just works for me. And he was like, mm, okay, well, yeah, you need this pomade, you know, and the brush. And he just, and then I bought it. And ever since, I never, ever put mascara on my brows. I was so... Not embarrassed, but I was so self-conscious about it after that. Like, I was like, what am I doing? Like, does it look that bad? And it doesn't. 
it doesn't look that bad <laughs> but he really like made an impact on me because he was like why why do you use mascara and i had been doing that for a year for lips i would this was my jam baby lips by maybelline my my jam right here i would just oh oh yeah baby Mm-hmm. And make my lips juicy and it would make my teeth look really white. So I liked it. This was me. This was me in high school. But don't think I'm basic. Like I would switch it up once in a while. I would have my red, which was my everyday go-to. And then sometimes I would switch it up with a nude. Okay. Which you can barely it barely shows, but sometimes I would do a nude. I'm a hundred percent sure that's all I would do in high school. <laughs> and yes, and yes, by the end of the day, I would have no makeup left. Like it would all just slide off. You know what I mean? Because I have oily skin. And I, my primer is not like a gripping primer. It's actually really smooth and soft. So it would also help my foundation slide. And then I would barely apply anything. I mean, can you see how much foundation this thing absorbed? The amount of powder I would use was almost nothing. And then all I would wear is blush and that comes right off, you know? So at the end of the day, all I had was my mascara and my and my eyebrows yeah pretty much so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye